Hello everyone, and welcome to a new touch designer tutorial. In this one you're going to learn how to create a visual system like the one you're watching right now, which I called real-time draw like tracing technique. This one is fairly simple, let's get down to it. We're going to start from the beginning. First of all, we're going to need a video source. For the purpose of this example I'm going to use an already recorded video, but I think you get the full potential out of this system by using a real-time video feed. The important thing to be taken into account when choosing a video source for this system, is that it has to allow you to have no background. That's why I'll choose this one of my fellow human. It has the proper lighting that we're looking for. Let's add a few things before we make the magic happen. A blur, a level, and a threshold. Let's make a few tweaks in the parameters. Now what we have to do is to use a trace sop and, if needed, adjust its size with a transform sop. And now probably the most important part. In order to create the draw-like effect, we're going to use a particle sop. I'm going to make a few tweaks to it, but this will depend on your taste. Just experiment with it, and see where that goes. We'll now need a geo component. A camera. A line mat. Now we're going to do a few adjustments to the geometry comp, the camera, and the line mat. As you may already noticed, I tried to reduce the duration of this tutorial as much as possible. That's why, in the fast forward moments, I encourage you to pause the video and take note of the corresponding values. Sorry for this cut. I forgot to switch to a more enjoyable resolution. Now it's rendering at 2048 by 2048. From this point, it's pretty much up to you how you want to embellish this system. I'll add a few components of my choosing. And voila! We've got ourselves a new visual system. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.